Hello, Peter. How are you doing? You wondered how I managed to get these headlights so clear and restore their shiny surface, this car which I bought recently. As you know, the headlights were covered with a film of opaqueness and gunge. So I went online and came up with this answer. And as you can see, it's very successful. So I'll just give you a quick run through in retrospect. I bought this kit online, very reasonable. And according to the instructions, before you do anything, you take around the perimeter of the headlight so that nothing damages the paintwork, which is adjacent. Having done that to both headlights, you take some compound here, which they call clarifying compound, and you put a bit on a cotton cloth, and you do a test, like so. Do that for a little while, and if there's no change, then you go through the full process. If it comes off, then you're very lucky and you don't have much more to do. You just carry on clarifying compound all over the headlight, and when you've finished, you can then do the final coating. So, we're assuming that they are very bad and the compound, the clarifying compound, has not shifted it. So, here's what we do. So, you take the number one pad, which is an abrasive pad, it's coloured green and it's got a little one on it. You take the lubricant spray and you first of all spray the lens. You also spray the cloth, the, uh, the green pad rather. You then work over it in horizontal lines, like so. If it's bad, this will take quite some time. It could take an hour and a half per headlight just to do the green job. When you know that you've got all the nasties off, you dispense with that, that side and you go to the other side, number two is marked on it, it's a sort of grey colour. And you do exactly the same. You spray the lubricant on that and on windscreen and you carry on. And they say in the instructions, do it for a minute. Well, on a headlight this big, it took me about two minutes, to be quite honest, before I was happy. And then you go through the next one, which is surface number three pad, which is sort of bluish colour, I suppose. Anyhow, you number three, you use it, and you do the same thing, and then you do the same thing again with number four. When you're quite happy with that, you clean it all off with a cloth, get it nice and clean, and then you go back to the what they call the clarifying compound. And you put that on, and that will take out the last bit of opaqueness which is left by the scratching of the finest of the pads. And that takes quite a while using that. Anyhow, when you're absolutely sure that's fine, you don't move to the next stage, you move to the next headlight. For the simple reason that the next stage, which is putting on the protective coat, requires things to be done very quickly. And you if you try and do one headlight, the, the uh, solution will have dried up before you can use it for the second headlight. So you, what I've done here, you do on the other headlight. When they're both done, you take the packet of lens base coat wipe, as it's called. You open it, and they supply uh, plastic gloves in the box, or one at least. You put the one on. 
take the piece of cloth out of here, which is impregnated with this base coat, having put the glove on, which I'm not going to do, because it's not alive, you very carefully do it like that. If you do it very carefully like a paintbrush, make sure you cover it smoothly, it will be better in the long run. You then do the same to the following side, to the other headlight. When you're sure that it's just, just dried completely all over, then you do the same thing with the lens sealing wipe. You do it very, very carefully and very carefully. When you've finished, it will look a bit wavy and things, but that will disappear with time. And in the instructions, they say it takes up to 24 hours to cure. And they're right. It does take 24 hours to cure. And uh, you might think it's not curing after a few hours. That's correct. It's not. It'll have a sort of film on it. You must leave it for 24 hours, or thereabouts, anyway. Then you take a cloth again, because it'll still have little bits of stuff on it. And when you go over it with the cloth, it'll all disappear. Just go it like that, and it's clean again. Then you remove the masking tape, and you have fantastic new headlight lenses like new. That's why I've christened this car Bright Eyes. Oh, and by the way, all the best to the wonderful guys at Top Gear, South Korea. Cheers for what you did for me and for my wife too. Bye.